pumps and valves. That's what we're talking about today in this feature with Lee Scott from Starag. Uh, Lee, your company does a lot of work in the transport and industrial sector. There's a, a series of movies across our YouTube channel and our platform on other topics. But today it's about pumps and valves. Um, how diverse is this area? It's very diverse and, and, and it can be it can be products from your, your sort of fist size, if you like, up, up to huge products. And when I look at, a, when I think about a pump and I'm thinking here about the insides of a, you know, a pump casing, for example, there's quite a lot of features in there that need machining and sometimes quite difficult to get to, I would guess. Would that be right? There, there is. And, and, and often you're, 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 you're working with fluids, so there are, there are certain surface finishes that you need to achieve. For example, you might need a gramophone finish on the front of a flange that you need to overturn rather than, rather than milling. Uh, there could be a lot of um, internal bores that are multiple diameters with, with chamfers and radiuses and different forms. So you need to be able to reach in and produce all these features in a single setup. You need to be able to produce the gramophone feature as you're producing all the other features. And I mean, how would you how would you handle that? How would you get inside? Because you talk about some of those features and some of those areas with finish. Also, that comes down to tolerance as well, doesn't it? I mean, you've got a lot of moving parts inside these pumps that that you don't want to wear and you you know need to do certain things for even for health and safety elements as well some of the industries that these pumps might go into how do you maintain some of those aspects when it comes to precision when you're getting right inside places well there's there's, there's two elements to this there's the parent metal element and then in some cases there's actually a, a, a an inconel or a stainless steel clad material that's welded on the surface that then needs to be machined so there's there's different um D different materials to cut on the same machine in, 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 in the same kind of way. And you would traditionally use uh, multiple tools. So you, you'd have lots of tools to produce different diameter drilled holes, different diameter board holes, then all your chamfers and everything else. So we, we have um, what we call the DBF head where we've got a U-axis in the head uh, and we're able to, to, to place a tool inside the bore and then produce multiple uh, diameters and facets in a, in a single pass, for example. Um, we've also got the, the traversing spindle or the quill that enables us to go inside the bore. We've got a feature called tangential turning where we can, we can rotate the spindle once as we're doing an X, Y, I, J orbit, if you like. Um, and you, you, you can see that on the, on the overlay movie. Um, there's lots of different ways that we can approach different features depending on the size and material of the of the product. You mentioned a really good point about the, the tooling that you're using there and the fact that you've got essentially one one tool doing the job of what va various tools used to do and that has a lot of advantages. Okay, I know your machines have got a lot of tool pockets to be able to hold a lot of tools, but there's tool change time, there's tool wear on independent tools. When you're just doing it with one product, that's that's a massive advantage, isn't it? It's a massive advantage. There's also a lot of cost to buy a lot of different cutting tools as well. So, so yeah, it, it's all about producing the product the most cost-effective and, and accurate way. And the machine type that you would typically or would typically lend itself to, you know, the manufacture of of, of pumps and valve parts. Well, it's it really varies. So, for, for the smaller machines, it's the compact range from Hecate. And the medium machines, again, could be a Hecate or a Bertier, moving into um, Doris and Droop and Rhine products for the, for the large and very large uh, pumps and valves.